So you want to make a SaaS, but you have no ideas. You thought of stealing an idea, but you see lots of people making clones, even clones of clones. The competition is crazy. And the whole game seems just pointless. Let me give you a hope today. In this video, I will teach you a simple method of niching down. With this method, you can take any existing SaaS, clone it and launch without any competition. The idea is simple. Take any currently rising SaaS trend, sell it in the non-English speaking country. All new SaaS trends are born in the English speaking bubble, mostly in the US. What you do is not join the race like all the others. Instead, you choose a product and launch it in one non-English speaking country only. Full focus on it. Forget about the sweet US market. Yes, it's a big pie, the biggest one. But the problem is that everyone wants this pie. Let them fight. You find a smaller pie and it is all alone. You have two questions now. First, which country to choose? And the second, what are the SaaS trends? First, the country. Have a look at the big countries with people who don't speak English fluently. Japan, South Korea, Germany, Thailand, Argentina, Brazil, France. I like France. French people are snobs. They like all French. They prefer a French service, even if they know English. French GDP is, is only 10 times less than the US, but the competition is 10 hundreds times smaller. Let's take something from the SaaS trends and bring it to France. What's the today's trend? It starts with A and ends with I. AI logos, AI chat box, AI interior, AI tweet generator, AI SEO tools, AI headshots, AI page generator. Take any successful AI product and just clone it. Then bring it to France. But how? First, regional domain. Google will prefer that FR domain when showing the results for French. Second, get perfect translation. Rely on multiple LMs and double check the texts with a native speaker person. See how they do it in the country you're targeting. Discover similar products and notice everything that seems different. Which integrations do they use? Do they use Facebook for a login? Do they like to pay a subscription? For example, Japanese websites are nothing near that we got used to. Next, do everything you would normally do for the English speaking market. Write content, engage in social networks, partner with influencers, make side projects, give interviews, get your product listed on directories, partner with other products. Your last question is how can you be sure in this strategy? Well, first, a couple of my friends did that in the past. One made Kiwi Forms. It's a form builder for LATAM market. He was making over 50k per month the last time we spoke. The other guy made an e-com builder for the Thailand market only. He sold it for a couple of millions. And my friend John made Cake It Easier. It's an e-com for bakeries aimed for Norway shops only. It's also successful. You will have chances to get acquired by big companies when we come to the country later. Here are a couple of examples of Shopify's acquisitions. Instead of starting in a new country from a ground level, Shopify just acquires existing local players, which can be you. That's all. If you like this type of content, please let me know by subscribing to the channel, liking the video and leaving a comment. Thank you. Goodbye.